The integral of e to the square root of x divided by the square root of x is a cute u substitution problem. When you think about u sub, first you should consider letting u equal the inside function. In this case, there are two options for what the inside function might be. It could be this square root x in the denominator because that's inside the reciprocal function, or it could be this square root of x that is inside the exponential function. You have to investigate the derivative of each choice to determine which is correct. If we let u equal this root x in the denominator and then take the derivative, this is what we get, which is not represented anywhere else in the integrand. However, let's say we let u equal this square root of x, the one that's in the exponent of e. Then, again, the derivative would give us 1 half x to the negative half. That's just applying the power rule because the square root of x is x to the 1 half. So the derivative is 1 half x to the negative half. And in this way, it actually works because this is represented elsewhere in our integral. Because this square root of x is in the denominator, we could rewrite this integral as the integral of e to the square root of x multiplied by x to the negative half. So you can see that what we've got here is a multiple of what's left in the integrand. So this is gonna work. Notice that our integrand does not have a factor of one half, so we can multiply both sides of this equation by two to get two du equals, I'm rewriting this negative half power as one over the square root of x, and you can see how this will match up with what's in our integrand. So let's rewrite it now in terms of u. e to the root x is now e to the u, because u equals root x. What was left in the integrand was 1 over root x dx. But 1 over root x dx we know is the same as 2 du. Then we can just pull a 2 out of this integral. So it's 2 integral of e to the u du. And the integral of e to the u is just e to the u. And then add the arbitrary constant. Let's just replace u with what we set it equal to. And we get our answer. 2 e to the root x plus C.